It's time for another Veeam walkthrough, and I'm glad you're here today, because this is a fun one. Today I'm going to walk you through backing up object storage to a NAS unit. It's quick, easy, and you never know when you will have a need for additional copies of critical data. Grab your coffee or Red Bull, and let's get to it. Welcome back to the lab. I have been promising that I would get this taken care of to show you how to back up object storage. So we're going to do that today. I am running version 12.1, but I also have the latest patch that was released on January 17th, 2024. So I'm now at build 12.1.1.56, just for those of you who are playing along with home version. So let's go up and right mouse click here and we're going to back up object storage. Now the first thing it tells me, and I left this in place so that it would do this for you, is that hey, you have to have at least uh, object storage set up for the first. So we're just going to tell it yes to add it. Okay, and we're going to do S3 compatible. And we're going to give it a friendly name. This is going to be Cloudian one and we'll log into our cloudy in here and we'll be able to get our credentials right from here and here's the service point that we're looking at okay we'll copy that and we can shut this down we don't need it for right now there's our service point Okay, and I've obviously already got some credentials stuck in here, so we're going to put that in. And the region is going to be US-East-1. And then we're going to tell it next. It's going to ask us for a cache repository, and I've just got that pointed toward a NAS that's here. And we're going to do an apply. And then it's going to create this for us. We'll do next, and then we'll do finish. Now it's going to create our object backup for us, the actual job itself. So we're going to put cloudy in backup. Number one. Okay, and then we'll do next here, and we're going to go to add. And there's our Cloudian, and we're going to hit the little triangle and select a bucket that we want to back up. We'll tell it OK. There's our bucket. I'm going to do next. And where do we want to put it? Well, it's on object storage, so I'm going to back it up to my NAS. And I'm just going to change this to a day because, again, it is my lab. And then we're going to do next from here. And we're not going to archive uh, the object versions into a different repository. That's something we can do in a more detailed scenario when I go through some of these deeper options that are here. We're just going to choose the one we did before and do next. And of course, we can schedule this job, but I am not going to because I just want to run it to show you. And we'll do an apply. And then we're going to run the job when this is done and we're going to do finish and our job is going to kick off from there there's our bucket and that is it it's very straightforward. So we're going to back up object storage because, again, having multiple copies of things in different locations is always a better idea. But sometimes there are things that you have archived or moved out to object storage that you may want to have a copy of certain things on a local repository or you may want to move it to another location. This just gives you another tool in your tool belt to be able to do exactly this. I hope you enjoyed the video. Easy to do. Look for some more in the future. Thanks for watching.